people from the other side. Welcome to a new video here at the beach. So, and if you are new, please hit that subscribe button so you can become part of the sparkly stamping of a crazy time here at Max Magic Nails. So with no further ado, let's get to the video right here and right now. Here we go with one of the first colors and this one I'm going to do by itself and I'm going to have one nail that is French because usually if I use a dark color like this, at least not always, but a lot of time I like to do it as a French more than the full on nail and then we'll get to the other ones in a minute. But here we go putting on the first coat, probably want to put a second even though it almost looks like it doesn't need a second coat but we probably should so we will. But then before that here is the other color I'm using, same brand it's from poundland they're one pound each these ones and they're pretty nice they have another one that's like i think 150 but this one's one pound so i get the one pound ones and they're not too bad for being as cheap as they are and this is this one this one probably we need more coats than the other one so here i am putting on the second coat of the green and all that awesomeness yeah you can see it's kind of making me look yellow right now because it's not opaque enough yet and then we go with the second coat of the yellow as well but i'm going to put one more coat of yellow before i do the rest of the design so here we go putting on my third and final coat and it's drying pretty well and now it's really showing out the color and it doesn't make my nail look like a yellow nail as much now because it's not doing that weirdness because yeah our nails can turn yellow and now i'm going to use all the colors from this one pound nail polish except for the other that one green to do the swish swish of swishy swishes on my middle finger here and then i'm going to put a design on top and all that awesomeness but first as you can see i'm taking off most of the polishes on my the brush because i only want a little bit and i'm all kind of d dragging it into the middle sometimes i put it in the whole nail but so i'm just trying to do in the middle for the most part slightly going out the sides and all that all that on the nail on top of the yellow being the base so now i'm going to take some of this green which i used for that one nail to be the french one i'm going to put it on here as well before i get to the rest of it i'm doing that abstract kind of thing that i like to do over a solid color so that's what i'm doing right here i've done french versions and whatever else and bright dark you know i don't know <laughs> i've done so many of these kind of nails it's crazy but yeah i'm just getting all the colors on there ready to do something because i'm going to be doing something i've done before but the last time i did it was stamping this is going to be something else and yes as you can see i'm going to use these little flowers here i'm kind of using these nails could almost be like fall feeling but this is more of a like i'm doing it because of spring and all that but because the color scheme I'm using, they almost feel like fall-ish nails. Like when the flowers are maybe going more into that darker tinge of colors. But who says you can't wear these colors this time of year as well? So, and as we get closer to summer as well, here is all that awesomeness. So here we go. And of course, because I'm using these little things, they're like little paper flowers that are like, I need some glue, of course. And as I told you, I'm putting some stuff on top of this. So it's going to cover some of this up. So I'm just kind of letting it show on around it somewhat. So... We go picking it up with my little tweezers here, getting this flower here. It's a little tricky to pick up sometimes, but there we go, got it. Now I just gonna kind of push it into the glue and kind of hold it down in place because it takes about three seconds or so, depending, to get it to dry and everything. So I need to do that before the, it, the nail glue dries. And then I'm doing this. Yes, it's gonna be very subtly 3D flowers because it's kind of like similar color scheme to what's underneath, but that's kind of what I wanted for these nails to not the flower is not gonna pop as much on top like you might see sometimes and all that. So I'm just kinda I added a little more glue so I can kind of push down that area. Some of these flowers I should have more bent them slightly so they can curve to my nail a little bit, but not too badly. And yeah, I'm kind of going on top of the other one, just trying to hold these in place. I'll probably add a little more glue underneath and whatnot if I need to. I'm just trying to make it so it stays one place and then get the other one. Like I said, I should have bent this one, but I didn't bend it like I should have. But that's okay. I'm just going to hold it there and there. Try not to glue my actual finger to the thing. But yeah, I'm just kind of holding one side and then the other side. This, simultaneously and then i have this flower and as you can see it's a little too big because i wanted to use something that's slightly that you can that contrasts and brighten more so i took it and cut it in half because so, the whole thing would not have fit in my nail because of how i'm using it so there we go taking the half of this flower and you can see this one you see a lot more than the rest of them which is kind of nice you have a little contrast of the brighter color to give that oomph 
so i don't know these nails kind of make me think of the sun brightness kind of like i guess the what's that flower that goes to the sun that that usually sunflower that's it it's right in its name do we <laughs> as i put these on and now I'm going to cover it up with this nice gel-like top coat. This gel-like top coat is not too, too old, so it's kind of, it's a good consistency. It's not too thick. Sometimes it can get thicker the more you use them, depending on how well you close it. But it worked pretty well for this, so I thought I'd use it because it wouldn't smudge things too much and go on nicely, and it's that nice glossy gel-like. And now that I'm finished with all my nails, I'm now going to put on my nail, my oil, nail oil, because my nails are pretty dried out and it helps my nails stay stronger as I do as these are my natural nails so it helps that as well as simply Neological has said and then it helps rejuvenate your hands from all the acetone that you had to use as well so there we go rubbing it all in nice <clears throat> now to that awesome note here i thank you for coming to this video here of the nails craziness and all that awesomeness that is right i'm so glad you can come and join and as always please hit that subscribe button if you are new here and of course please hit that ba -ba -ba bell nice and bling 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 just like the sparkle of craziness and everything so you know when i do a video as i do one video a week at least sometimes more so if you want to know when i do more it's good to hit that bell so yeah with all that in mind and awesomenesses and everything i thank you for coming till next time sparkle sparkle bell